This video is how to take a 300 TDI engine out of a Defender. It's pretty simple really. Uh, if you've seen the video previously of the tools you need, you really do need those bits and pieces. So if you're missing anything, you could improvise I suppose. Now the first thing we need to do is work safe. And one of the th principal things is disconnect the ground strap on the battery first. It's so easy to... Uh, accidentally you know turn over the car when you by accident you know swinging spanners and you you've got something dropped inside so take off the battery clamp first the other thing we're going to do i haven't got two people here to assist me to take the bonnet off so this is the reason why i'm crouching over because we're going to take off the bonnet prop and we're going to use a bungee strap to fasten up the bonnet so let's first of all get this off now i when I do these, I tend to put, wait a minute, it's going to be spanning bits everywhere. Let me get to show you. Oops, there we go. Oh, I've dropped it on the floor. But I can't, it always happens, doesn't it? <laughs> Found it. I use these R clips, I drill out the pin and I put these R clips in, which is a lot easier to get in and out, as you saw then there's little split pins but the problem is I use this double like a spring thing here which was on the original Land Rovers so you've got a big flat washer against the slot in your prop and then you've got this and you've got this and you've compressed them together this pin goes through like a dream if you don't fall, if you fall on the floor top tip what you need is really handy these little magnetic trays they're an absolute godsend. If you haven't got one of them, a speaker magnet. You can put all sorts onto that on nuts and bolts. There's nothing worse than getting through a job, leaving it a couple of weeks, coming back and you've forgotten where all your nuts and bolts are. Uh, get into the habit too of when it is a nut and bolt, screw them together so you won't lose them. Right, so let's get this bonnet propped up. Now to get the front panel off, I always take the front panels off because it's easy to get the engine out. You've got to take these two uh, plastic nut things off the bottom, here and here. Simply get a 10mm spanner, work it up and it'll compress it so you can push it out. Next, you're going to take the screws out the bottom. There's uh, two 10mm headed screws. This is where the uh, extended bit comes in handy. Put it in there. And then they're out. Next we're going to take the four screws off here and then there's two screws underneath here and here need to come out. In fact while we've got this gun here we'll take this out. You don't need to take them out completely as yet. You can just back them off. You'll see why. Let's go and get this Phillips. Yeah, that's a bit more. Where's that fell off? Oh, we suck it. <laughs> oh, there's my socket. Put your bits on a table, keep them all together. Now you can get these bolts out there with your fingers. Doesn't take much. Then there's nuts and bolts in the top of here. Now I put captive nuts in here before. So get these out. Oh, Back in a bit. Right, take the brackets off, keep them safe. And then continue to take these screws out of here. This one is a little bit naughty up here. There we go. That's the top one's out. And then you need a 13 millimeter key. Oh, it depends what size it is. We take that bottom bar off here. 
put it right where I am. Again, once we've taken this bar off, which will come off really easy, we just swing it to one side, but we put the nuts and bolts through the, the holes so we, we don't lose them. Yes. And then, we're keeping the cable attached and we're just going to swing this to one side. We're not going to disconnect the cable. It's a waste of time. So we might just put a, a cable tie around that. When we find a good place, when we find a happy place. Oh, there we go. This is a, a longer cable, by the way, so that's helpful. So that's your front off, you've got good access now. The next thing we're going to do is take down the coolant level. So I've taken the cap off the expansion tank. We're going to take that level down. And then put, put that into our bucket. Sounds like we have a few of it. Mm. Now, that when the coolant's out of here, I've already loosened off this nut 22 millimeter, no, 21 millimeter, sorry. Don't lose the o ring. And then just start pulling fluid out of this. And you'll find it's a lot cleaner than having it spraying all over the floor. Just keep at it because there's a stop. There's a stop halfway down the radiator, so you can't go. You can't take that much out. So I'll get this done, and I'll show you the next bit. So I've undone the hose clips for the expansion tank. And I'm going to take the pipe out and I'm going to bung up the end of the pipe and then disconnect it and feed it into this ball down here. Right, now with the, uh, with the hose fed through the bottom, if you can see that there, you can take your bung out and you can let all the water out. And you won't have any on the floor. Good, that, isn't it? There we go. So we now we know that the radiator is empty. I hope it is. So then we can proceed to the next step to take the radiator out. Right, next thing. We've got to take off the top hose. We might as well take the turbo hose off at the same time because it's the same uh, key. We can take off the sound covering which gives us access and put the cap back on gives us access to this clip here. So we've taken this one off, this one, this one, this one and this one. That'll get those hoses out of the way and that'll give us plenty of room to get this cover out. So let me get those hose clips off and let's have a look and see what we've got. You can see what I mean about tying the hose clips onto the hose. So we know that this clip goes onto here. We just have to move them up when we don't have to lose them. Same with that one. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> And we can take this hose off here, do the same again. You will get a little bit of coolant come out the heater hose, you can't avoid that really. Put that off, that's that off, push that out the way. Next thing we're going to take two 8mm screw nuts, take those off. <laughs> 